But Tony Dwyer of, of Canaccord Genuity says, don't fight the Fed, don't fight the tape. S&P may be overbought. You could get some consolidation as a result of that, but they're, they're bullish. They'd add exposure on any weakness that, that you get because the Fed's going to cut. The Fed's not only going to cut this month, the Fed's going to cut again towards year end. Don't fight it. Is that right? Might be Make optimistic. Uh, some of Too it makes optimistic. sense. <laughs> Might be. I, I think that 25 basis points is probably likely tomorrow. I can't imagine why they would raise uh, lower 50 basis points. We're not going to raise. I can't believe they would lower 50 basis points. And, and the truth is, you know, the economy uh, honestly doesn't deserve a 50 basis point cut. And who's going to borrow that much more if we do cut rates? So <laughs> I, I think that the market would be extremely disappointed if there's no cut. Five to 10 percent, oh. the market would fall. I, I mean, I, think I mean, he needs to that, tomorrow that make much. it clear, Josh, doesn't he, that what the market expectations are don't feel out of whack. Right. I mean, that's at the minimum. He needs to leave the hill over the next couple of days with the market on board about where we are and where we think we're going to go in a couple of weeks. Dude. <laughs> right. Like when he's yesterday, Dude. yesterday, news surfaced that a company called WeWork is going to hit the debt market just prior to an IPO, which is interesting. And they are looking to raise anywhere from three to four billion. And by I some know, estimates, you're go with hold this. on, I know you're up gonna to go 10 with this. billion. You're going to say there's no problem accessing capital. Rates are low. You can borrow money hand over fist. There's no problem. Maybe. Right? I might say that. We'll I, say I, I, I think you're going. I said that. He doesn't I've heard, even know. I've heard this before. No, no, no. But just, I want you to understand. It's not a matter of whether I want it's you to understand, or not. I want you to understand this. Mo it's not really. I think it is a matter of that. What's I want going? you to understand this moment in time. This is a company that owns no real estate. They lease real estate from other people. Last year, they lost a billion dollars more um, than they were able to do in revenue. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and they are going to not only do one of the biggest IPOs in history, probably, um, but before then, they're going to raise somewhere between 3 and $10 billion um, in the junk bond market. Might not even be junk. Maybe it's investment grade. Uh, <laughs> you have junk bonds in Europe. In Europe, junk bonds. <laughs> That are now <laughs> raising good. money at a negative uh -oh. interest rate. This is the new safe haven. Now European junk. Yeah. So listen, so listen, <laughs> what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Are we trying to placate someone's Twitter account? Or are we generally trying to do something stimulative for the economy? Because I can make the argument that extraordinary stimulus over the course of 10 years not only will not help them get to some imaginary inflationary target, I okay. can make the case that it's disinflationary. You're giving companies money who then turn around and provide free products and services to consumers. Actually, lower rates will be worse for the inflation target.